I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 with my father and brother and I. We're at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. First thing on the agenda would be uh, number two, Judy Pembroke, Lettums Forward, the Waste of Vegetation Removal and Vegetation, <coughs> Vegetation Project, Town of Pembroke. Have we heard back? I haven't heard anything back. Do you have any information on it? Um, we got your letter. It was read, filed, and no discussion. We were told that it goes upstairs to Mr. Ed Thorne. So. We haven't heard well, back from Mr. Thorne yet. I haven't heard yet. from Ed anything, so. Um, sure. Should we send a letter to Mr. Thorne and directly then and ask him to? Yeah, we'll send a letter <coughs> directly to him. And maybe we'll put him on, ask him if we can put him on a, he's available for the February 22nd meeting. Okay. We have a time, it's his purpose, time and a. Yeah, he could be the first one at 7.15 <coughs> or. So, I'll find so we can move ahead with that and find out yeah. what the, uh, the plan is. With, um, when was he in last? In I did bring fall? all the old minutes with me. It's been a few months anyway, so uh, maybe we can send a letter to the Yeah, he, I believe he was going to look at somehow where there was trees available right. and get back to us. All right. That's how it got left. Right. We didn't hear anything. So then I sent him a letter. I didn't invite him to the meeting. I expected to hear from him, yeah. but I will invite him to the February um, 22nd meeting. Just to find out, I mean, it's, it's going to be spring before we know it, so right. we have to get that uh, pre vegetation project started sooner or later or soon. Um, and River Marsh, Northern School. I haven't heard here. anything else on that. I don't know if Bill has heard anything or that's. Okay. And then the Lettums Ford grant. I believe that was denied um, in the round that they, the grant that they sent in by the Wildlands Trust, but they're resubmitting it. Um, so they're hopeful that the next time it will be approved. And we have never gotten any information on it other than they invited us to the, the meeting, but it was too late before I, it had already happened before I got the email. Okay. So I didn't know about the mm -hmm. meeting. Um, well, a couple of, a couple of conservation put an article in the last year's town meeting and got a grant to the CPC. But we do um, I don't know, $100,000 worth of. Uh, but minutes. we have never gotten any notification on it that it was going to happen. So, and I think that's where the trees were supposed to come from. The the trees. And it very well could. But there is, um, and I didn't write down the gentleman's name, but he did send me an email. The person that rewrote the um, conservation application for the project that is being resubmitted for Wildlands Trust. So I do finally have a contact on it. Um, but I, he held a meeting. And I got the information after the meeting happened, so I don't know what what happened. Did you attend the meeting? No. no? Okay. So I will follow up on that and see what happened at, at the meeting. Um, I think Samantha Watershed was going to be there and, and different um, organizations were going to be there. But all they're doing is resubmitting the grant. But I, I know the Pembroke Town one is a different grant, yep. I believe. What's the grant for? We have never been notified, so I really don't know. Well, they used it for um, doing uh, repairs and putting benches and kiosks and 
all kinds of little stuff down there. And then go on some other work to the land. But Pembroke uh, Town Conservation was doing it on their own anyway, weren't they? I think it was well, with no, Hanover gave, too. They gave the approval. Yeah. And Hanson. Not Conservation gave the approval. DPW was doing all the work. Right, right, but it wasn't through a grant. No, that no, the original work in there wasn't through a grant, but they did get a grant at the last time meeting. They did. Through CTC, they got hundred thousand yeah. dollars. And that the uh, revegetation that we'd like no. to see might come from no, that. No, it wasn't for well. I don't know about revegetation, if you call it revegetation, but it's planting of trees that that's what everybody has been kind of upset about, is replacing the trees that were cut out of there. Joe, help me out with this, because I'm still new to the board, but what would we <coughs> like, are we specific in what we'd like to see to right the wrong down there? Well, I mean, to be specific, I mean, technically we'd like to see it go back to what it looked like prior to. But that's pretty vague. I mean, would we, you know, would we have a drawing or something to say we'd like to see this done? Well, that's that's what he was supposed to come back to us with was a plan yeah, saying, yes. you know, we're gonna. He has been in here too. <clears throat> we took down X amount of trees and shrubs and bushes. We're going to replant X amount of trees and bushes. I mean, actually, you're not going to be able to replant a forty foot tree, right? But could get a four inch caliper tree though. You could, you could get a, a tree that's going to take well and grow um, that a few years will hopefully look similar to what was taken down. Well, because we've got a, we got a handle on what came out. Right. And I mean, it, this time when, you know, invasive species are taken out and they're replaced with native species, and that's, you know, I think people would much rather see, you know, uh, it could native species rather than frank ivies or sure, know, sure. ivies and poison ivies and stuff like that naturally because uh, I mean Bill and I know we had quite well and we can maybe help quarterback this a little bit and pull that aside that maybe I don't even know if Ed knows he's on the hook to Ed has come in before yeah, us I saw him yeah. here at that time yeah. but it seems like some time has lapsed and I'm hearing Ed maybe has done nothing since and uh if he's to provide a plan for for replanting, we could just. I mean, that's what I think we'd like to see. We'd like to see the plan improve the plan that he's proposed. That plan that he brought in here was um, pretty much of a scribbled hand plan. That, that uh, it was kind of embarrassing. To be perfectly honest with you. Oh, would you be a landscape sure. architect? I don't, I don't think it comes up with yeah, any. Yeah, or, you know, Mr. Ivis, uh, someone like that. Do we know someone in Pembroke that could help Ed with that? Well, I think <coughs> he had Mr. Ivis come down. He did talk to, he did talk to Mr. Ivis, but he didn't, he didn't ask him to draw a plan. Draw a plan, right. Uh, some, yeah. Something like that, I think we'd like to see a formal plan. Could we not articulate that in any letter? We did. We did. Okay. And he brought a, a plan that <coughs> All right. wasn't, didn't have enough information in it to be able to use the plan he brought. So we asked for more of a plan. <coughs> and he said he would get back to us. Okay. We just haven't heard that. So, so if you put that in. Uh, yes, I will send it to Mr. Thorne so directly. I, I thought it, I would send it to conservation. Right. I do have a copy of the arborist report that defined how many trees were taken. I think I've read that here. Put right. it in here. So yep. If you need that, I still have the original copy. That would help at all. Well, the trees <coughs> were taken down. Yeah. So we have some before and after pictures. We have pictures of what it looked like before. Yeah, yep. we have that. And the stumps have been identified that you're not putting for were large trees that need to be replaced. American elm. Yeah, yeah right. So he was going to check with, um, there was some trees available, and then they were going to check with some trees that were coming from Canada, I believe. I had said that, they, Scott had said that prior to this whole event. Yeah. The trees they're referring to that were at hand were to be clear, it was going to be a clear cut. I don't think you take those type of trees off, put them anywhere. Right, and you had said about the stumps that we're going to be allowed to regrow would never regrow into a real tree. Right, right. they're just a sucker. Right. They were 
yeah, they weren't going to be right. I think the runoff uh, tubes were left in place, were they not? Yep. They're still lying in there. Yeah. I think a lot of this stuff was explained. We're just waiting for them to come back. Right. Right. With right. the plan. Right. So that I, you know, I, I believe they have a clear understanding of what our expectation is. They just haven't come back to the table in terms of explaining, hey, we're going to do this, or we're not going to do this. And what is going to be done. Well, right. I'd like to know. So we need an action plan, and we need a, a whole revegetation plan. Yeah. The last time I talked to Ed about it was when we filed the uh, yeah, I article for town meeting, and I asked him if there was enough money in there to replace the trees. And he said, yeah, it's okay. So I said, well, if there isn't, then we need to put some more money in. We have to ask for some more money to make sure we have enough money to replace those trees. So. Yeah, certainly on town grant. Right. Right. All right, I will invite him in for the February 22nd, 2018 meeting. Yes. Um, the difference talk? between inviting somebody and requesting that they be there? Um, I think we invited and they don't show up, so we have to... Well, that's what I'm saying. He's been invited twice to come here and talk to us about this. And he's been done, so, uh, I mean, I, I kind of feel embarrassed because of the Pembroke and I'm the representative of Pembroke. Should be here. Well, if we tell him that he's going to be on the agenda on the 22nd to Please discuss send it, um, representative. Yeah. representative. I mean, if he's not going to be here, then send a representative. Right. Yeah. Yes. So I, I think the other piece no. that, that to to Bill's point is uh, send it to his attention, the copy of the selectman, and, and make reference to you know um, this this plan is overdue. That we've reached out at, at this point several times. Our expectation is you'll attend the meeting in February. If you can, please let us know that you'll attend the March meeting. Or send it. Or send it. Or send someone. Yeah, I mean, I, I, at this point. With an update, because we, we haven't had. But copy of the selectmen also, so that they have a, a clear understanding that we haven't had, you know, we haven't had any action on this at all. And we're not going to go away. And <laughs> with the spring coming, it'd be ideal to be ready so they can plant in the right. spring. But conservation has just tabled it, right? As far as I know, and just for the representation, I'm here as a citizen tonight in okay. that capacity only. But All as right. far as I know, yes. For some information from conservation, too. So we'll notify the selectmen, the town, um, see the administrator? <coughs> yes. And um, conservation. Actually, Tim has. You know, we've seen before that the pictures of the, the plan we were given, in case you haven't seen it. I saw them. Yeah. Yeah. The red I saw the pictures that we took originally. Right. But, yeah. but uh, we had a plan presented from the town administrator. Did you see that one? <clears throat> Is that what you have, right? Oh, no. His, his, uh, his plan to rectify it. <coughs> kind of just Is that scratch plan? Plan? <coughs> This is yeah. for... Uh, <laughs> It, is, it has like nothing to do with planting. It's about adding <laughs> picnic benches, signs, right, it was the and curb. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 It's interesting, I think, and that, that really has nothing to do with Pembroke right. Conservation didn't know the North River Commission existed. Is that correct? Well, no, kind of they scary. were under the impression because in the protective order, it says, um, now I can't think of the, the correct wording for it, um, like DPWs could be exempt, but it's highway department. It's the state highway department that is exempt. Mm -hmm. And I believe Mr. Clark was under the impression that that meant their DPW was exempt from us. Okay. But that was um, not correct information. Yeah. So we've contacted them and told them that we do have jurisdiction. So they know. All right. Okay. Uh, number three. Uh, Do you have anything else you wanted to add? No. Yeah, no. Just citizen. keep doing a good job that you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for caring about it. You know, we'll try to move forward and get them in the ground. Right. Okay. Uh, number three, Hanson. Yes, I wanted to welcome Jennifer Hines. Welcome. Did I say that right? <laughs> Hi, Hi, okay. Um, from Hanson, she's um, 
coming to see what we do when she's interested in the commission and possibly being the um, representative for Hanson. Mm -hmm. So I invited her to a meeting to come and see what we're about. It's a nice easy meeting. So. I live in, on State Street right near my at, so the river right there is in my backyard basically. So. Does Hanson have two delegates? Yes. It would, they've had none for a while. Okay. So she would be the member and then we'd still be looking for an alternate. Every town has a member and an alternate. Right. When you bring on a new person, like I was last year, and you provide, you know, it's, it's kind of like, I just wish there was a little more of coaching and what to expect and what to have for documents and you know, protective orders the Bible, right? That's yes. What, so that's... There used to be a little workbook type thing that we used to get from the state, but they're not funding that anymore, so I made photocopies of them and... Right. Um, it, it's helpful to have a little how-to and uh, what to do. It is. I mean, the, the protective order is yeah. <clears throat> a guideline on everything, but I think it's so much case by case and so many different you know, things that come up in different areas, but every single part of the year is different. Right. Uh, that's why we're not charging this whole bit of